Nick speaking. Uh, welcome to my video response for Beast of War Nidweek. Uh, what an amazing series of videos from Beast of War. Thanks very much. And all my subscribers, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to Beast of War. Some really good videos on there, lots of interesting stuff and a lot of funny stuff as well. Um, so, on with the Nidweek uh, video response. And I've been playing Nids for a while. Here and there, I've been dabbling in and out of it. And, uh, wow, new codex out, and all of a sudden my interest is really, really sparked off. And uh, the thing I love the most about this new codex is the Mycetic Spore Mine. And uh, that's what I'm here to do, to show you my initial ideas on how to make Mycetic Spore Mines. Games Workshop, I haven't made one yet. I believe there's probably one coming out at the end of the year, but obviously we don't, don't want to wait till that long, so try to come up with some ideas on uh, what we could use for them. These are my uh, Tyranid spare parts after I've built my army. <coughs> I was trying to see what I could use in there. I thought these might uh, be probably the most useful section. A big Carnifex uh, scything tad on there. Um, I've come up with a little plan and uh, this is this is what I've got. I've got this here, which I've made. This is uh, only blue tacked at the moment, but you can probably imagine it. So the green stuff together. And uh, I was thinking of getting, I've seen some on the internet on some craft shops, is a polystyrene shaped egg. And uh, I haven't got one yet, but I've experimented with uh, this, which I know is a baby cup thing, but. Uh, Imagine that this is an egg shape and polystyrene, of course. I was going to sit it into this and uh, obviously shape these so they are sort of hugging the egg. <coughs> and I thought something like that might, might do as a, as a drop pod, tyranid uh, drop pod. I could also do some, a few extra things. I could, for example, um, put the gun maybe sort of on the top, have it rotating round on a pin or something to indicate that he's got one of the weapon upgrades on and uh, also I've got some uh, spare lash whips here might even make my own lash whips but I was thinking about just having the lash whips on here somewhere um, <coughs> you know give it a bit of extra extra fluffiness possibly even have the wash lip coming out the top or something if it it might suit it. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to have a play around with that one. So really, um, I was going to get some advice from you guys, really, because uh, I'm sure there's some experts out there, people who've made their own uh, spores. And uh, what do you think? Do you think that would work? Do you think it would sort of go into the fluff? Uh, in terms of the size, that's a, a gaunt there, so give you a rough idea. Now this bottle is 11 centimetres. And the eggs are available either 10 centimetres or 15 centimetres. Undecided which one to get. Do you think the 10 centimetre one would work? 10 centimetre one is uh, a third the price of the 15 centimetre one. So it would be a lot cheaper if I could get away with it. So please uh, post a response below. Do you think it would work as a, as a small mine? And uh, if so, what size do you think I should go for? Uh, that's it really. So, as it, once again, please subscribe to uh, Beast of War, and uh, if you like my video, please subscribe to me, Idik Beer. Thanks for watching. Bye.